archaeologists have made a remarkable discovery off the coast of Sicily, Italy, where they have uncovered the remains of an ancient Roman shipwreck believed to date back to the 1st century BC. The wreckage was discovered in June 2021 by a team of divers from the Sicilian regional government, who were conducting a survey of the seabed near the island of Levonzo. The team had been searching for evidence of a previously known Roman shipwreck in the area when they stumbled upon the new site. The wreck was found in shallow waters at a depth of just 10 meters, and its cargo of amphorae was clearly visible on the seabed. Amphorae were large, two-handled jars that were commonly used in ancient times to transport wine, oil, and other foodstuffs. The cargo was made up of around 20 amphorae, some of which were intact and still sealed, indicating that their contents had been preserved for thousands of years. The amphorae were likely produced in southern Italy and would have been destined for the markets of the western Mediterranean. The discovery of the wreck is significant because it sheds new light on the maritime trade networks that existed in the ancient world. The Roman Empire was a vast and powerful entity that stretched from modern-day Britain to Egypt and included many different cultures and peoples. Maritime trade was a vital part of the empire's economy, and Roman ships could be found all over the Mediterranean, transporting goods, people, and even animals. The discovery of this new wreck provides valuable information about the scale and extent of this trade, as well as the types of goods that were being transported. The wreck is also important from an archaeological perspective, as it provides a rare glimpse into the material culture of the ancient world. The cargo of the ship would have been an important part of the everyday lives of people in the Roman Empire, and studying it can help us to understand the economic, social, and cultural context of the time. The amphorae themselves are also of great interest to archaeologists, as they often bear inscriptions and other markings that can provide clues about their origin and destination. The team is currently studying the inscriptions on the amphorae in order to learn more about their provenance. The discovery of the shipwreck is just the latest in a series of exciting finds in the waters off Sicily in recent years. The island has a rich history and was a crossroads of Mediterranean civilizations for centuries, from the ancient Greeks and Romans to the Byzantines and Arabs. Other recent discoveries in the area have included a Phoenician shipwreck dating back to the 7th century BC and a Roman-era villa complete with mosaics and other decorative elements. The Sicilian regional government is now working with experts from the Italian Ministry of Culture and other institutions to study the new shipwreck and to determine the best course of action for its preservation and protection. In conclusion, the discovery of an ancient Roman shipwreck off the coast of Sicily is a significant find that provides valuable insights into the maritime trade networks of the ancient world. The cargo of the ship is of particular interest, as it provides a rare glimpse into the material culture of the time. The discovery highlights the importance of underwater archaeology in uncovering new information about our shared cultural heritage, and underscores the need for continued efforts to preserve and protect these important sites. In 2021, a new species of coral was discovered by a team of researchers from the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History and the University of the Ryukyus in Japan. The coral, named Sama Gorja hookery, was found in the waters off the coast of Japan and is the first new species of coral discovered in the region in over a decade. Sama Gorja hookery belongs to a group of corals known as octocorals, which are characterized by their eight tentacles and the presence of tiny, hair-like structures called cilia. These corals are found in a wide range of marine environments, from shallow tropical waters to deep sea habitats. The new species was first discovered during a routine survey of the seafloor in the waters around Okinawa, Japan. The researchers were using a remotely operated vehicle, ROV, to explore the area when they noticed a cluster of unusual-looking corals growing on the seafloor. Upon closer examination, the team realized that they had discovered a new species of octocoral, which they named Sama Gorja Hookery in honor of their colleague, Dr. James Hooker, who had contributed to the study of the coral fauna of Japan. Sama Gorja Hookery is unique in several ways. The coral has a distinctive branching pattern, with long, slender branches that form a delicate network. The branches are covered in tiny, spiky protrusions that help to anchor the coral to the seafloor. The coral also has a characteristic coloration with a pale pinkish beige hue that sets it apart from other corals in the region. The researchers believe that this coloration may be an adaptation to the low light levels in the deep sea environment where the coral lives. Despite its unique features, Sama Gorja hookery is relatively understudied, and much remains to be learned about its biology and ecology. The researchers hope that further studies will shed light on the coral's life cycle, 
reproductive strategies, and interactions with other marine organisms. The giant squid, or Archituthus ducks, is one of the most elusive and mysterious creatures in the ocean. With eyes the size of basketballs and tentacles that can reach up to 43 feet long, these massive cephalopods have captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. Despite their size and notoriety, giant squid are incredibly difficult to study. They live in the depths of the ocean, typically at depths of 1,000 to 2,000 meters, and sightings of live specimens are rare. For many years, scientists had to rely on dead specimens that had washed up on shore or been caught accidentally by fishermen. However, in recent years, advances in technology and new research techniques have allowed scientists to learn more about these elusive creatures. For example, in 2012, a team of researchers from Japan's National Museum of Nature and Science captured the first ever video footage of a live giant squid in its natural habitat. The footage was captured using a remotely operated vehicle, ROV, equipped with a camera, which was deployed in the waters off the coast of Japan. The researchers were able to observe the squid for several hours, capturing video of the creature as it swam and fed in the deep sea environment. The footage was a groundbreaking achievement providing the first-ever glimpse of a live giant squid in its natural habitat. It also provided valuable insights into the behavior and ecology of these mysterious creatures. Despite this breakthrough, much remains to be learned about giant squid. For example, scientists are still unsure how the creatures reproduce, as no mating or egg-laying has ever been observed. It is also unclear how long giant squid live, with some estimates suggesting lifespans of up to five years, while others suggest they may live much longer. One of the most fascinating aspects of the giant squid is their size. These creatures can grow up to 43 feet long and weigh as much as a small car. The largest recorded giant squid specimen was over 59 feet long, making it one of the largest invertebrates in the world. The giant squid's size is due in part to their unique physiology. Unlike most other animals, giant squid have a circulatory system that pumps copper instead of iron. This allows them to tolerate the low oxygen levels found in the deep sea environment and may also contribute to their large size. Another fascinating feature of the giant squid is their intelligence. Despite their reputation as fearsome sea monsters, giant squid are actually quite intelligent and have been observed exhibiting complex behaviors such as problem-solving and tool use.